what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my kitchen today's video is another weekly vlog video so today's monday i just got back from heb as you can see by all my bags um today's the first day that we've gone since the storm or i've gone so there was a lot of things that i had to get and there was actually quite a few things that I was surprised were still out. Um, but I did stop by this new coffee shop that opened up near HEB. Um, literally in the same parking lot. It's called Joe's Coffee. Pretty sure it's the same coffee that's in, like, on uh, Congress. But haven't tried it yet just got my metal straw want to do a taste test mm, it's all right it's kind of sweet kind of burnt I'm still gonna drink it at a large um but yeah so <laughs> went to HEB got my coffee um today I have two zoom classes that are synchronous and then one asynchronous where i have to watch a lecture so i'm gonna do that and then i also need to like i bought some stuff online ended up not liking it so i'm gonna send those back so i need to get all the prep for that and i don't know when i'm gonna take that to the post office um maybe tomorrow we'll see um that's really it hit a lot of school today and yeah that's that's your update so i'm gonna be unloading these groceries drinking my coffee and getting ready for class it's 10 right now my class starts at 11 so i have a little bit so yeah okay thought i would give you a little lucy update she's just chilling on the couch watching outside and chewing on a baby light update it is now noon i just got out of my first class uh, about to watch some online lectures like pre-recorded lectures for my second class today i'm about halfway through this coffee and i would say it's pretty good just uh my first first taste i was like mm, don't know if i like it but now i like it um it's a very easy sipper and some brain power um update on lucy she is looking out for squirrels also if you watched my vlog from last week and you're wondering about my bonsai seeds no new growth they're just chilling in their pots um i'm nervous i don't know how like those I don't know anything about these seeds at all. I haven't even really researched them. Um, so we're kind of in for a treat here, but no, nothing. It just basically looks like dirt in a pot. So yeah, that is your update. Also still got the same stress pimple as last week. Okay, we are in the kitchen. I have a little bit of extra time since my Monday class doesn't meet synchronously and we just have to watch the lectures. So I'm going to go ahead and start to prep for dinner. Um, tonight, I found this recipe last night, went to the store today to try to meal prep um, for the week. And I'm going to make a chicken and biscuits dinner. It's from wellplated.com. Never made a recipe from this website before, but I'm going to try it out. Also, so there was a huge winter storm in Texas and our hot water heater failed and that one was one inch bigger than the other one so it barely fit in there so they had to rip off like the trim to both doors because there's a door right there um that side and they cut that two by four and tried to shove that so <laughs> that's why that's like that um that was like a very condensed version so hopefully you know what I was trying to say. But yeah, let's get to this recipe. So I've never made this, but the first thing I need to do is make the um, biscuit batter um, because then you cook that 
on top of like your vegetables and your chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this biscuit batter, leave it uncooked, set my chicken out to do thaw because I had some in the freezer. Um, and yeah, that is what I'm about to do. Um, I'll try to remember to take a video tonight of dinner, but I'll show you the biscuit batter at the end. It looks really easy, just flour, baking soda, salt, milk, honey, butter, and Greek yogurt. Um, interested to see how that will turn out because I don't know. I've never made biscuits, so, well, I take that back. I've made the, the kind with the, you know, the, the pastry looking guy on it. <laughs> it's the kind that like, Pillsbury, Pillsbury. I've made the Pillsbury ones before where it's just the pre-made, I've never made homemade. So if you know what the Greek yogurt is for, let me know. Um, and honey. So yeah, we're going to do the batter. Batter update complete. I'm about to put it in the fridge until dinner tonight. Coffee update. Got about a fourth left maybe. Now it's just starting to get to the very like watered down part. So I'm probably just gonna chug this part and be good. I've got class in 30 minutes um, over Zoom. So I'm gonna do that and cook dinner and I think that will probably be the rest of my day. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It is Tuesday and we have had a rough morning so far. So every morning I take Lucy on a little walk because our backyard really doesn't have that much grass. So she sometimes refuses to go in the backyard. So just to get myself motivated, I just take her on a walk. And it really, it's really like a, a time to kind of do some meditation and like reflect you know, on yesterday and what I'm going to do today. So it's kind of a peaceful walk. Well, we get back and I'm like, okay, I've got chores to do. I'm going to do them. So I leave the back door open. I come inside, get the trash, go out the back door to throw it away because Lucy's like running around outside because there's tons of squirrels. So come inside, she gets up on the couch, I get my, I'm like, she's kind of acting weird. I get my purse, because I'm about to leave, because I need to drop something off really quick. I only have like a 40 minute gap between that and when I have to go into my class. And so I go to say bye to Lou and make sure that she's okay, and I see blood everywhere. <laughs> she had stepped on like a piece of metal and it got lodged in her paw and there was blood everywhere, but I, I didn't know it, she was bleeding from her paw at first because I was like, what? So I got her off the couch. Then I saw it was her paw. Luckily, my husband, Clay, was still home. He hadn't left for work yet. And I was like, okay, I'm going to hold her. You take it out of her paw. He starts cleaning the blood everywhere. I'm applying pressure to her foot. And yeah, it was crazy. So then we take her into the bathroom clean her foot up with like some hydrogen peroxide, put some neosporin on it, wrap it, um, and she's fine. She bled a lot, but um, she is walking fine. She's jumping on stuff. She's just um, still growling at the mail trucks. It was just like getting a splinter, but metal. So called the vet, waiting on them to call me back, um, but yeah. That was my morning. Right now, I'm gonna chill for a little bit. I have an hour and a half before my next class. Um, I checked on Lou, she's fine. She's not bleeding anymore. Still waiting for the vet. I've got to watch The Bachelor, so I'm about to watch The Bachelor. It's just a recording. Since I don't have cable, I watch it on Hulu the next day. So yeah, that is my morning. A little update for you, so the vet called in a antibiotic prescription for her so i'm about to go and pick that up and then i'm gonna go by the post office and drop that off um so i can get my errands done for today and be home and start working on homework hello it is wednesday um i'm about to go into my last class of the day it has been a 
long, long day. I did, however, actually, I'm pretty sure I wore this on Monday, I think. Um, whoops. I did, however, get myself a coffee as a little pick-me-up just because it's been a really rough day, not gonna lie. So, yeah, this is the only check-in you're gonna get today. And we'll see how tomorrow goes. It is fixed, finally. So today's Thursday, the contractor just left. He just got done finishing that door. So I put the trim on, put the door on. It was a whole ordeal. He was here from like nine to one. So he was here for a long time. Um, but because he was here and Lucy had her weird foot issue and I had to give a presentation at 1230, I was like, mm. so I gave Lucy to my in-laws. So now I'm about to go and pick her up, bring her back home because, um, it's pretty lonely here without her, which is kind of sad, but I'm going to go pick her up. Then I'm going to do homework for the rest of the day. So that is your weekly vlog. I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't really feel like filming tomorrow. It's going to be kind of boring. I have a stats class and then I'm doing some stuff with a friend. That is your weekly vlog. I hope you guys like these vlogs and hopefully I will be back to sewing soon. Um, Thanks for hanging in there and following along with my weird COVID winter storm stay at home vlog. Um, I know you come here for sewing, but that's not always what you get. So yeah, I will talk to y'all later.